Today we're going back in time on a journey to my dear father's house. He lives in Perry Sound and I was there... This might be from this summer? Yeah, this summer. So the first summer I went I was flying Digital, my uh, Baby Hawk HD, which was a terrible drone even though everyone loves it. And then last summer I went back and by now I had destroyed all my digital drones and have gone back to analog. I'm an analog fanboy now because it's cheap and yeah, you, you can't compare the performance that you get out of analog to digital. I'm sorry, like it's just it's too cheap for for such great <laughs> quality. Maybe not great picture quality, but it feels good. You don't feel as bad messing it up, and it's light. So right now we're looking at this camera here. This is a uh, the MCK Runcam Nano Three camera. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's like 30-40 bucks. Still kicks the butt out of any digital camera for the uh, cost. I think this is actually my favorite nano camera. I've always liked watching MCK videos. If you haven't watched him, he's like the best FPV pilot racer in the world. This uh, is the camera that he made for Runcam before he switched over after he was on the Fox Ear. I don't know what he's on. Now he's on like the HD Zero. I always noticed when looking at his uh, feed that the colors were kind of like neon looking. And so I got a few and I really like it. It's the only analog camera that I actually feel comfortable going in between trees with. If I tried to do this with uh, uh, the, the ant and stuff, I, I can't see the branches enough. Like I feel more scared because I don't want to get caught in a tree. But when I'm flying with the MCK nano cam, I can actually see the branches. So about halfway through this video, you'll see me kind of surfing through the trees. And I just, I think that's pretty cool because it's something that you wouldn't think you'd be able to do with analog. But with this camera, I'd be able to. Run cam might still make it because I don't think MCK is really doing stuff with them anymore. But you can probably find one, the MCK Run Cam Nano 3. What's your favorite uh, nano camera? Let me know if you can do that with yours, if there's other cameras that are like that. I've been testing out the uh, Foxier Toothless 2, the Baby Rattel, but I actually think that this is my favorite analog nano camera. And I've n I haven't messed with the micro ones, just the nano ones, or whatever the bigger ones are that are on the analog, if they're much better. This is the footage just straight out of the camera. I didn't mess with it. I do like to sometimes stretch it sometimes and give it a little bit of a color grade, but then I wonder to myself, is that like, I guess when I do like a flight video and I just put fun music and whatever, I'll do that. But then if I'm kind of trying to just show you something, I'm showing you the true picture straight out of the camera. Do you like that? Or do you prefer it being color graded and stuff? Share your thoughts with me. Tell me about your favorite nano camera. If you're interested in getting a uh, 3.5 discus, they're available now in the description. I am going to probably have bind and flies eventually, but I'm trying to figure out all the parts that I want to use. But I love this 2.5 frame. It's pretty decently easy to make with analog. I'm gonna do a digital build eventually. That's the frame. I'm always gonna be pushing it. <laughs> Every video, this is my frame. I made it. Go buy it in the description. If you like 250, you'll like this frame. Okay, see ya. Mwah.
Just do it!